Our today's crime story is about the devil of India, who raped and killed 18 women. His name is Amish Reddy. The notorious rapist and serial killer Amish Reddy, is one of the worst serial rapist and killer from India. He was born in 1969 in Basapamalaj, a village in Chitradurga district, Karnataka. He has confessed to rape and kill 18 women, and has been convicted in nine women killing cases. The Indian police suspects that he raped at least 20 women in the different cities of Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Gujarat. The Indian authorities also suspect that several of his crimes have not been reported, because the victims feared of social stigma. Amish Reddy had also served in the police department, Central Reserve Police Force. He was posted in Jammu and Kashmir. In Kashmir he was posted on the duty as a guard at the house of a commandant serving in Kashmir, during his duty as a guard he had attempted to rape the officer's daughter. After he expelled from the services, he then moved to Chitradurga district. As Amish Reddy had experience of police service, so he managed to join the district armed reserve police in 1996 again. The police authorities were not aware of his background in Central Reserve Police Force. Amish Reddy had also been charged in a road rage incident during his service, but the local district armed reserve police inspector chose to ignore these petty case. Amish Reddy completed his police training in Madhya Pradesh Police Training Center, and then returned to Karnataka after completion of training. Amish Reddy, the devil of India, was selecting his targets very carefully. He usually chose to target housewives between 11 am and 3 pm when there would be no men at home. He was getting entry into the victim's house on the pretext of asking for water or an address. After get Samne khadi ho jati in hai But the local district into the victim's house he observed carefully. If he realized that the woman is alone. He then threatened the alone women with a knife forced them to remove their clothes, tied them up, and raped them. He normally choked his victims, and raped them while they were unconscious. After the rape, Amish Reddy killed his victims, and removed their jewelry to make the crime appear like a robbery case. As Amish Reddy was serving in police, he then escaped with the victims' undergarments to conceal the DNA and fingerprints from the crime scene. A transvestite, Amish Reddy was found wearing women's undergarments under his clothes, whenever the police arrested him. In November 1996, Amish Reddy attempted raping a high school girl, who was walking at roadside in Chitradurga. Fortunately the girl hit him with a stone, and managed to escape. On 6 December same year, Amish Reddy allegedly raped and murdered a 16-year-old girl, when she was returning to her house in the same area. Within the next month, he was arrested and dismissed from service, when his first victim identified him at a Republic Day police parade by chance. Amish Reddy, along with four others criminal fellows, was charged with a girl murder case, and remanded to judicial custody, in 2004. He was acquitted in this case due to lack of sufficient evidence. The court directed him to be shifted to Bellary Jail. In March 1997, while the Chitradurga police were handing him over to the Bellary prison authorities, Amish Reddy managed to escape from the police custody. He then killed an income tax officer's wife in Bangalore, a girl in Ahmedabad, two girls in Baroda and a widow in Cunigal. Amish Reddy would steal lingerie put up for drying in the backyards of houses. On 7 July 1997, he was arrested by Pena police for stealing women's undergarments. When the police raided his room, they recovered a gunny bag full of ladies' undergarments. When he was arrested at Pena, he told the police that his name was Ramesh. Amish Reddy again escaped from the police custody within 24 hours of his arrest, while being transferred to the another police station for further interrogation in another case. The police initially tried to hush up his escape, 
but Amish Reddy's father filed a habeas corpus petition in the High Court. Two police personnel were then suspended, and a lookout notice was issued in the name of Ramesh, as he told his name is Ramesh to the police. On 28 February 1998, Amish Reddy raped and murdered a 37 years old widow in Penia. The police believed that he raped the dead body several times. When her eight years old son returned from school, he saw Amish Reddy in his house. Amish Reddy told the boy that an evil spirit had entered his mother's body, so he had tied her to the window grill. He then fled saying that he was going to get a doctor. Amish Reddy then attempted to rape another woman in same city. When the woman raised the alarm, he tried to escape by jumping from the first floor of the house. He sprained his ankle, and was caught by the neighbors, who handed him over to the police. In 1999, Amish Reddy once again escaped from the police custody near Hikara. Before he could commit any crime, he was arrested by the police, in Chikabalaba. On the night of 3rd and 4th March 2002, Amish Reddy escaped from police custody again, while being transferred from Bellary to Bangalore in a bus. The district armed reserve personnel of Bellary, who accompanied him, claimed that he was handcuffed at the time, but Amish Reddy denied this when he was arrested two months later. He stated that he bought rum and chicken for the policeman, and earned their trust. When the bus stopped at a roadside restaurant near Heria Bypass, he requested the policeman to remove his handcuffs on the pretext that he needed to answer the call of nature. Once free, he ran into the fields and escaped. Over the next two months, after escape from police custody, Amish Reddy raped three girls in Davangir, Hubli Dawad, and Bune. He also stole three mobile phones and two credit cards. He worked as a waiter in a Pune hotel. He stole cash and clothes from there, and then fled to Dawad. On 17 May 2002, Amish Reddy arrived in Bangalore from Tumka, and left his luggage in the cloakroom at the Yeshwantpaya railway station. He then visited a salon to get a haircut and a clean shave. As he entered the salon, an auto rickshaw driver recognized him from a newspaper photograph and an earlier court appearance. The driver tipped off, and the police arrested Amish Reddy near Sharif Nagar. At first Amish Reddy claimed to be somebody else as he did earlier, but admitted that he was the serial killer, after being taken to the police station. The police rewarded the driver. Amish Reddy was found wearing ladies' undergarments, a bra and panties. His baggage, seized from the cloakroom, contained several women's garments, 18 pairs of panties, 10 bras, 8 chiridas, 6 saris, 4 blouses and 2 nighties. Amish Reddy was tried and convicted in 9 cases of rape and murder. He was acquitted in 11 cases due to lack of sufficient evidence. In October 2006, the Bangalore City Fast Track Court gave him multiple sentences including a death sentence, a 7 years sentence plus fine and a 10 year sentence plus fine. The case was referred to the High Court as per procedure of Indian Judiciary. In 2009 the Indian High Court confirmed death penalty for Amish Reddy. On 1 February 2011, the Supreme Court also upheld the death sentence. The President of India also rejected his mercy petition. Amish Reddy then filed a fresh petition, which is now pending before a Supreme Court constitution bench, and Amish Reddy is waiting for death in police custody. Kindly don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching this video.